Hey YouTube, Todd here with another quick tips video. This time I'm going to show you how you can change your metronome sound settings within Cubase 9. So this is very simple. Um, if you already know this, that's great, but if you don't know, there's a lot of things that you can do within Cubase. You can customize the sounds that you want. So let me show you real quick. All you have to do is go up into your transport menu up here, go to metronome setup, and if you look down here, make sure that activate audio click is checked and make sure it's set to sounds. And you see these two little boxes right here, it says high and low. You just click on this box and you find what samples you want um, to put in there. So you can create your own, you can customize whatever you want, turn it into a WAV file, and then you can select it import. As you see, I have some default ones here, Cubase Kick, Logic, Clicks, uh, Pro Tools, etc. And if you're not sure where you can find these, if you don't have any, if you don't want to make them, just do a Google search and you will find them. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Just make sure when you do put your sounds in, make sure you put your high click here and then the low click means, you know, to get the, uh, you know, the beat on one and two, stuff like that in the downbeat. So you get the clicks right. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or if you have a quick tips video you would like to see, uh, something that you want me to cover, please put it in a comment below. Or you can reach to me out on me at Twitter. It's uh, at Todd K. Edwards. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.